Okay, guys, I'm here today with Adam Wardzinski, huge honor for me. Guys, Adam today is gonna show us here three options to bring your opponent back from the knee slice to the butterfly guard. So if someone's trying to pass your guard with the knee slice, he's gonna show us here three options that he used to bring them back to the butterfly guard, which is his favorite guard, and he's one of the best in the world on that guard. So let's do it, Adam. So knee slice is a very common uh, technique to pass the guard. One of those techniques that we learn as a white belt and they stay with us until, uh, until black belt. Very, uh, very good tool to pass the guard, very common. And we all have to uh, have some tools to deal with that. So let's say my opponent is standing and he's coming in with a, with a, with a knee slice, going in with a, with a knee. So first thing, when he's approaching, I wanna put my my hook here on his uh, on his thigh. So I'm putting a nice reverse de la Riva hook. So in this case, I'm gonna stop him for a little while. But just the hook is not enough to stop him. He can push through anyway, exactly. So then, after I get the hook, my goal is to move my knee towards his chest. So my knee is gonna be facing Bernardo's chest because for him, he wants, to, he wants to face the ground with his knee, right? Right now he can, he can move forward. I want to bring his knee more towards my chest. Now, whenever, whenever he's uh, in front of my chest, he can put more pressure on my body, but he can't advance with the, with the, knee, uh, with the knee side anymore. Now, another thing, I wanna get the grip on his sleeve. Even if I can't get the dominant grip, it's still okay. I just want to control his hand to make sure that he's not going to be able to reach my collar here to switch the concept of passing to some uh, side steps and long steps. Now, another, another thing, I'm going to get the grip on his collar here. So I'm making like a frame here, keeping his upper body away from me, right? And now, I, I need to uh, I need to see how much is he pushing forward. If he's pushing forward a lot, I'm gonna put my toes on the ground and I'm gonna scoop my hips back. So right now he falls to the ground. So I'm stepping back from the line of his attack. And from here, it's gonna be very easy to insert my hook and I'm back in a butterfly guard position. Now, yeah, that was amazing already. Now, if I feel like that there's a lot of pressure here and I'm not gonna be able to just scoop back and step back from the line, I can always use this hand, the one from the collar. I'm gonna put it here on top of his leg and now I'm gonna scoop back, stepping, stepping uh, from the line of the attack and I'm gonna push down his leg to get more powerful move. So in this case, I'm making sure that his knee will really land on the mat. And now the third option, the, the most complicated, but this is actually my favorite one. Whenever he's, he's uh, pushing forward, but he knows what's going on. So whenever I scoop back my hips, he's following. He's not, he's not too crazy about passing the guard. So whenever I scoop, he's following. I'm not able to just put his knee on the ground uh, with a simple tool. So in this case, I'm gonna use the outside hook underneath his shin. So now look, the outside one goes underneath the shin. And when I put, insert the hook, I'm gonna stick my knee here towards Bernardo's thigh. Let me just change the angle here just so everybody can see the hook. Yeah. So now look how tight my both hooks are. Both hooks are controlling his leg right now. And I'm gonna use my hooks to put his knee up on the mat. So I'm putting his knee towards the ground and now I'm able to switch for butterfly guard. Very important thing here, whenever, uh, can you go back? Whenever I'm using the third option, I don't wanna kick back in a dynamic way. If I kick back in a dynamic way, I'm gonna lose the control and he's gonna come back with the, with the knee side and now I have no tools to stop him. Instead of that, I'm gently putting his knee up towards the ground and I still have my hooks here. So right now I can switch between controls 
and I'm consistently controlling my opponent's leg so he's not able to come back with the dynamic knee slide. Oh man, and first of all, I love that you showed three options because I think the number three is like a magical number because That's you can always combine like the first option with the third option, the third with the second, the second with the first, and etc, etc, etc. And the, from what I understood, your goal is to figure out a way to move away my knee from your leg to the ground. Exactly. Once my knee is on the ground, the hook comes in and you are all set with the exactly. bird flag. Uh, exactly. Whenever, right? whenever I'm able to put your knee towards the ground, I put the threat of knee slice away from me. That's one thing. And second thing, I bring your knee towards the ground. So once your knee hits the ground, you're not so dynamic anymore. Okay. You have to, to be dynamic, you have to be on your feet, right? Yep. So whenever your knee hits the ground, I know it's gonna be easier to control you now. Yeah. And it's gonna be easier as well to play that butterfly guard because we need at least one knee on the ground to play butterfly guard. So that, that's a great way to actually put you in a butterfly guard. But also if you're not really into butterfly guard, that's a good way to defend and yeah. put the threat away from me. Got it. And then, uh, and summarizing the three options again. So option number one, you pretty much like hip escape and force my knee to go to the ground. Option number two, you use your hand against my knee and force my knee to go to the ground. Option number three, you use your hooks as a way to force. Exactly. So can you do that again? You don't even need to teach, but just so they can see one more time the three options. So number one. Number one, I just scoop back Okay. and you're falling down. Yeah. But you give me the energy here. Yeah. You're pushing forward. Yeah. I'm I'm just stepping okay. stepping out of the line. Now I feel two. I'm gonna need a little more, more energy. Just the hip escape. So I need to like hip okay. escape and push you down. Okay. And then number three. And then number three, I put both hooks in. Man, that's incredible. Yeah, uh, that's amazing. Yeah, everybody who has like one specific move. Seen from outside, it looks like that that person. Oh, he only does butterfly guard, but nobody understands like what goes around that. There's like, a lot how of many, little things. Yeah, how many together. options you have in order to achieve that position and to use against everybody. So guys, uh, this is probably the best butterfly game in the Jiu Jitsu game nowadays. He has four instructions about butterfly game at bjjfanatics.com. So make sure to check that out. He's probably like the best butterfly, as I just said. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks so much, Anna. Thank you. Thank you. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.